almost 11 but uh, it's pretty humid and hot here so it's a bit of a tough run a lot of hills a lot of stairs but I got it done so I thought I'd do a video that's kind of relevant here of, uh, of the difference between being slick or cunning and uh, outright scamming and, and fraudulent to people because uh, I think this is one of those interesting attributes that seems to be somewhat Italian in nature right I think there's uh, this this idea of the Kind of slick person and there's a lot of scams and a lot of con artists obviously that uh, that are in this country I mean any anywhere where you have somewhat of a, of a division between uh, classes like a, a severe division you're gonna see uh, you're gonna see that you're gonna see people uh, trying to get what they can uh, and and basically you know you did I did that video on uh, the means justifying the ends check out that video but basically having that philosophy that hey it's all right because you know they're a sucker and they're learning a lesson and I'm teaching to them and I need this more than they do right uh, so that's a way to justify that but I want to talk about kind of the difference between the two because I think that often they get grouped together and you see someone you think of someone anyone who's an opportunist or who is uh, how would you say I guess you could say slick uh, you might see them as a scam or con artist and that's not necessarily true because I'm all for being as opportunist as possible and utilizing whatever resources are available uh, breaking rules bending rules if you need to but uh, but I think the, the key distinction is whether you do that is, is is how you do that right how you do things is really important so the, the, the question is you know are you lying, uh, committing fraud to people, or are you simply uh, being an opportunist? And there's there's definitely a, a big separation be between the two, even though, like I said, they get lumped together. And I think it's a, it's a fallacy to lump them together because if you, um, <laughs> if you only play by the rules, if you only, if you don't have any amount of a, conniving or opportunist bone in your body and you just play it straight up by the rules uh, you're gonna get trounced on and defeated all the time right I mean and there's to some degree you know we all have to embrace our dark sides as well and it doesn't mean you know I think there's very blurry lines that are, are, are that the line you know the, the classification of good and evil is uh, is often uh, misconstrued I don't think it's it's quite like that right I mean it's all contextual driven uh, for the most part and so I think a lot of people want to attribute certain things as always good or always evil it's not like that it's very contextual again I'm not necessarily espousing a moralistic uh, a relativistic morality uh, because what I'm more saying is that uh, that there is none that there is no more morality but there are laws and principles and virtues in life that are absolutely true and those things you have to obey there there's no way to not obey them just like you can't not obey the law of gravity right so what I'm saying here is essentially this is that look you've got to uh, take shots when you can you've got to take opportunities you got to bend rules again and it's because you're gonna be subject to I mean you could call it karma you could call it what you will but a set of laws a set of of uh, principles that operate throughout the universe and when you violate those uh, you you are whether you violate them or not uh, <laughs> it's more of an equation and the result will will come okay so I know I'm getting a little abstract here but all all of it is just to say this this one simple thing which is that you should do what you can be as opportunistic as possible without incurring the consequences of violating certain principles and rules or certain principles not rules but principles that will cause more harm than good the things that you might say would be bad karma so if you you know break the rules a little bit 
uh, not a problem. But if you outright lie to someone, deceive them in order to uh, scam them out of something, uh, then that's you know that's on you. That's that's not quite the same thing. And, and those things, like I said, get grouped together. So. Anyway, just a, a short thought on this. I'll, I'll probably have some more on this as I'm, I'm traveling, but definitely you notice this when you're traveling because you see it a lot, right? You see a lot of people that are hustling, and hustling's great. I mean, I'm all for hustling and for, you know, doing what you can, or making the most of the situation, being an opportunist. So you see some real hustlers, but you also see some people that are exhibiting some of the same qualities except that they're doing it in what I would say is a crooked way. They're scamming people. They're actually lying to you. They're trying to cheat you or deceive you in order to, to get a gain. And you know, <laughs> that's, uh, that's, that's where um, I have an issue. And that's where I, I think that in the long run, it doesn't benefit them. Because remember, I talk about this all the time, but it's, and you can watch that, watch the video on the, the means don't justify the ends, but it's about who you become, and it's about the character that you develop as you reach your goals. It's not the end goal, it's not the money, it's not the, the thing itself. Yeah, we all have to persist. Yeah, we all need food to eat and, uh, you know, shelter and water to drink, but, uh, but, <laughs> but aside from the basics, you know, the kind of comfort and the kind of things that you're striving for, like I said many, many times on this channel, uh, it's not about that, it's about uh, who you become in the process of achieving them. And so uh, how you get that is really gonna determine how you enjoy it because it's gonna determine who you become in a person uh, that is uh, vile and decrepit and uh, lacks character, uh, lacks the capacity for enjoyment. There you go, there's my philosophy for today. If you liked the video, if you didn't like the video, if you just wanna follow me along, uh, go ahead and click that subscribe button below and make sure you click the bell so you don't miss any videos. I will see you next time. Take care.